Let us understand how do we do integration when sine and cosine have even powers. Integration made simple by Anil Kumar. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a very interesting question. We need to find the integral of sine square x cos to the power of 4x dx. So this is from our playlist in which we are discussing integration of trigonometric functions. Well, before this, we have already solved three integrals regarding even powers of sinusoidal functions, which were sine square x, cos square x, sine square x, and cos to the power of 4x. So I hope those solutions are absolutely clear. And now we are going to take the fourth one, which is integral of sine square x cos to the power of 4x. Well, in case you want to learn from me directly, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Let me also thank all the viewers and subscribers for supporting our channel and writing these excellent comments. Those of you who can contribute, feel free to contribute. As you know, we have been serving you absolutely free for the last 15 years. And with 17,000 math videos on our channel, we are able to reach more than 80 countries. We want to provide quality education globally. And for that, we need your support. So please do contact us on email also to work out a plan. That'd be great. Now let's look into the solution of this particular problem. So like in past videos, we first simplified the expression. Idea is to write the power function as a double angle or four angle and formula using double angle formula. Simplify it, right? That's the whole thing. So now let's look into uh, the integral at hand. So we need to find integral of sine square x cos to the power of 4x dx. So in the very first part, let us try to see how do we simplify the expression itself and then we can easily find the integral. So a couple of ways to go about. One of course, we can think about rewriting this expression as sine square x cos square x times cos square x dx, correct? Now, in the first part, which is sine square x cos x, we could use uh, sine double angle formula, sine 2x is equals to 2 sine x cos x, correct? As we did while solving question number 2, right? So, the first part we could rewrite as, since it is sine square x cos square x, it will be uh, sine square 2x over 4, right? And cos square x dx, we can simplify from this expression, cos square x dx will be 1 plus cos 2x over 2. Correct. So with that, we get 1 over 8 integral of, now we are going to multiply 1 plus cos 2x with sine square 2x. Sine square 2x, we can now utilize this portion, right? And rewrite this as 1 minus cos 2x by 2, right? So let's do that part. So sine square 2x, I am writing as 1 minus cos 2x by 2 means we have already taken 8 outside. So now this is divided by 2, right? Times 1 plus cos 2x. 
Make sense, right? So, uh, 2x will become 4x because it's a double angle, right? Correct. So, now we can open this bracket. We get 1 over 16. Integral. Let me write like this. Make sense? Okay. So, multiplying with 1, we get 1, then plus cos 2x, and then with minus cos 4x. But here we get another term, which is minus cos 4x cos 2x. You see that. So now, how do we simplify the last term, which is cos 4 x cos 2 x? Now, we have another formula, which is compound angle formula, which we can use. So, so the formula for you is cos c plus d, cos c cos d is equal to half of cos c plus d. Let me rewrite. So, we have this formula that cos of c plus cos of d equals to half of cos of c plus d plus cos of c minus d, right? So, we are going to use this double angle formula to simplify the last term and rewrite the expression as 1 over 16 integral of 1 plus cos 2x minus cos 4x. Now, this becomes minus half of this, right? Half of cos c plus d will be 4x plus 2x, which is 6x. And we have, because minus is outside, so minus cos of c minus d, which is 4x minus 2x, which is 2x, right? Half of this, right? And everything dx. Do you see that? So, that becomes a simplified expression, which we can now integrate. So, as you can also say, cos 2x and this cos 2x can be simplified further, right? So, so what we get here is taking half, multiplying everything by 2, we could rewrite this expression. Let me do it here itself. So, if I take 2 common, I get 1 over 32 integral of Everything these gets multiplied by 2 of 2 plus 2 times cos 2x minus cos 2x will be will give me cos 2x plus minus 2 times cos 4x. And here we get minus cos 6x dx. Clear? So, that is how we are going to simplify this particular expression. Perfect. Now, we can integrate it. So, let us rewrite this on the next page. So, we have integral of cos of, let me, so this is equal to the integral of 1 by 32. times 2 plus cos 2x minus 2 times cos 4x minus cos 6x dx. Okay? So, that is what we came with. 2 plus cos 2x minus 2 times cos 4x minus cos 6x dx, 1 over 32, right? Perfect. Now, it is simple. 
So these are the steps involved to simplify it. Once you simplify, then it is easy to integrate. So we have 1 over 32 and we get the integral 2x plus sine 2x over 2, right? Minus 2 times sine 4x over 4 minus sine 6x over 6 plus c constant. So let's simplify it further. We could rewrite this as 1 over 32 times 2x plus sine 2x over 2 minus this becomes sine 4x over 2, right? minus sine 6x over 6 plus c, right? Now, we can take 6 as a common factor. So, we get 1 over 6 times 32, which is 192. And here we get 6 times 2, 12x, plus 3 times sine 2x minus 3 times sine 4x and this is minus sine 6x plus c, right? So, that is how we could actually solve the whole expression. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Keep supporting. This is your channel. With your help, we can reach millions. Thanks for your time and all the best.